I'm Whitney Swain. And I'm Vincent O'Brien. There are some exciting events taking place this week. And we're starting off today's show with the preview of the fall play. Hey, CB, I'm out here in front of L1, where the fall plays rehearsals have just begun. KBFT went to go find out more. What is the play called, and what is it about? The play is called The Whole Darn Shooting Match, and it takes place in 1960. It is about uh, a New England company, the new boss. He's killing the company, and he's trying to bring in a New York, Madison Avenue advertising company to take over. It's a very, very funny play. It's, it's not just a comedy. It's a farce, which means that a lot of the comedy is very broad and very big. I'm looking forward to managing the properties. There are so many props in this play. It's going to be a real challenge to move everything on stage and off stage and on stage again. The other thing I'm looking forward to is working with the actors. We have two terrific leads. Nick Lunetta and Becca Wolfing are both really, really good actors, and I'm looking forward to working with them. It's going to be great. Everybody should come and see this play. It's going to be the funniest play they've seen in years. And I know that our students are going to be able to handle it very, very well. There's some really good actors in this show, so please buy tickets and come to our show. Well, there you have it, CB. The fall play will be premiering November 14th. I hope to see you all there. This has been Dakota Dumontel reporting for KBFT, Sacramento. The cold winds will soon be blowing, and now there are pre-sale orders available to purchase sweatshirts. Pick up your order form in the front office or download it off the CB website. The deadline is September 22nd, so order yours now so you won't get stuck in the cold. So if you would like to purchase a Wellspring t-shirt, stop by Brother Edward Hall and speak to Miss Heine. The deadline is tomorrow, so hurry, hurry over there. In other news, this Thursday is our first spirit rally this year. That means it's time for you to dig out those lovely spirit shirts. Those who wear their spirit shirts are allowed to wear jeans. Also, remember to bring your energy and enthusiasm so that you can rack up some serious spirit points for your class. Also, on Thursday is Club Day. For those of you who don't know what Club Day entails, I want to scope out information on last year's Club Day. For all you newbies who wanted to sign up for clubs, you're going to have to wait till Club Day. Here's the scoop. Club Day is this Thursday, September 18th, during lunch. And it's when uh, every club on campus sets up a table out in the main lawn during lunch, and all of the students can walk around, visit all the clubs, see what they're like, see what they do, and sign up um, on an interest sheet that they would like to start attending those clubs. Right now we have 36 clubs registered. The trick was um, to get your club registered in time that you could attend club day. And so the students that are interested in starting new clubs have been running around campus, getting their moderators, getting their clubs set up, have officially registered and will be at Club Day. And we have a number of very interesting, fun new clubs on board this year. We encourage anyone and everyone to join the Maya Club, whether or not they are Latino. Um, throughout the year, we hold various activities during Mexican Independence Day, Dia de los Muertos, and our big event is Multicultural Week, where we have uh, entertainment and provide a special lunch for the entire school. Uh, we meet here in Ms. R uh, Frieza's room for the Independent Film Club, and we just have movie nights where we sit on inflatable couches and watch movies and have potlucks, so you should all join, all of you. Um, I'm the president of Community and Liberation, and you should join our club because we go on a bunch of trips, we eat together, sing together, laugh together, do a bunch of fun stuff all the time. Now you've got the load out on Club Day. Go out and sign up for those clubs. This has been Whitney Swain reporting for KBFT, Sacramento. Mustard Seed School is sponsoring a bike ride to raise money for the school. Kids and their families are invited to register for a 13 to 20 mile support bike ride on the American River Park. The catch is that adult riders must be accompanied by a child because in this annual event, the kids ride for kids. Children 8 and up can ride alone. All registered riders receive a t-shirt and other treats. For more information, go to the website below. The sophomore family liturgy is this Sunday at 9.30 a.m. in the gym. Immediately following the liturgy will be a continental breakfast served by the cafeteria. Make sure you remind your parents to RSVP in the main office as soon as possible.
There's two of them. Would you like to have double coins? Of course you would. And there are different ways you can do this. You can multiply your coins by two, divide them by 0.5, clone them, cross your eyes, put them in front of a mirror, melt down copper wiring into coins, steal someone else's coins, not advised. Multiply by four, then divide by two, or you can travel through time to bring back a future version of your coins. Or you can just turn in your coins this Friday for double coins. It's double coins Friday on this Friday for double coins. <laughs> CSF applications are available in room 704. Return your completed form with a copy of your spring semester final grades no later than Tuesday, September 30th. If you have any questions, feel free to see Ms. Jenkins in room 704. If you're wondering about those college visits, this Thursday at 9.15 a.m., representatives from St. Mary's College will be there. Also, on September 28th, MIT representatives will be at Davis Senior High School at 2 p.m. Check out the website below for more information. The Voice of Democracy is the Veterans of Foreign Wars Premier Scholarship Program. Students in grades 9 to 12 are invited to compete by writing and recording a broadcast script on an annual patriotic theme. This year's theme is, serviced, is Service and Sacrifice by America's Veterans. Official entry forms are located in Brother Edward Hall. The deadline is November 1st, 2008. Good morning, CV. I'm John Wong, and welcome to KVFT Sports. Today, we're going to jump right in with an update with the cross country team. Here's Sarah Wilson with more. When you think of cross country, you probably think of stomach churning cramps and running endless laps. But I'm here to tell you that's not what it is. The funny thing about cross country is most of the time it's not about the actual running that makes it the sport, it's the people. And, you know, it's a pretty awesome team. There are close to 80 runners on the team, ranging from freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, boys and girls. What's your favorite part about cross country? Everything. Especially the shorts. Running is like breathing. Ah! Cross country doesn't just activate your body and mind, it activates your social skills. This is in Sarah Wilson for KBFT. Oh, Runs on me! Runs on three! One, two, three! To our water polo team, they both have games today at Metaview. Our girls volleyball team has the first home game today, so sh be sure to get out there tonight at 6. It's a pretty big deal. Men's soccer has the first league game tomorrow at Vista del Lago. And in other sports news, anyone interested in wrestling this year, be sure to sign up in front of the cafeteria this Thursday. That's all for sports. Thanks for tuning in to today's broadcast. I'm Vincent O'Brien. I'm Whitney Swain. From all of us here at KBFT... Enjoy Mexican Independence Day. Ay, ay, ay! Resident Evil, just play for the fun, cause we got it going on.